Here's a new demo for a game called Heartworm. Let's go. Looks like we got a very old grandfather clock here. Don't like that style. Something gonna happen? Hey. Sorry you <laughs> haven't heard from me in a while. I've been busy trying to find out about this place. You're not gonna believe me, and I don't even know if I really believe it myself, but I guess a part of me must because I'm going. It's far on an abandoned road, a few miles from that power plant in the mountains. It was hard to find anything about it. I started on message boards, and I ended up in a chat room talking with people, no people, no people, gone. They said a lot of crazy stuff, but the one thing that they all agreed on is that in that house, there's a room that can take you to the other side to see the people that you've lost again. The thing is, no one who's gone has ever come back, and that's why I'm writing you. Not for advice, not to get you to talk me out of going. Actually, by the time you read this, I'll already be there. I just wanted to let you know, in case I don't come back. That way you won't be wondering where I've gone. Either way, you don't have to worry about me anymore. I'm sorry, but I don't have any other choice. I just can't keep going on, not knowing. So we're going to a house with a room where you can see people who have passed on, and we think that's a good idea. Let alone even possible. You know, I think we had a good reason to show up here. So we take ourselves a nice little trip into this door, I'm guessing. All right? Nope, it's locked. Of course it is. I figured it wouldn't be that easy, as did I. Okay, I guess I'll go around the back here then. See what's back here. Oh, a door that I actually can get into. Yeah, I love that Silent Hill callback. What do we got here? Very creepy room. Very un unwell lit. Anything over here? Vital signs look to be normal. That's good. That's always good. Will you take the lit candle? Absolutely. Seems like something I may... may need. I really need that candle if I can just figure out how to get it. There we go. Now that's something that's gonna really help. Another Silent Hill 2 transition. What's here? Okay, not ominous at all. One of these things moves, I will scream. And not to scream to sound like a little baby, but... That's what it would be like. I burn this painting. Okay, the paintings are actually starting to freak me out now. Well, I can't even tell what they are, so... Oh, uh, what's this? What's this about? Not sure I even want to find out what's on the other side. Well, that might just be the room that you were talking about with all the... dead souls that you can visit. That you wanted to come here for some reason. For... 
I'm not going out on that balcony. It looks like it's barely held together. Yeah, and you also look like you're not that much weight, so do it. I'm brave enough to do that. You should be too. What is my next move? Oh, music started up. There's a cigarette. Don't mind if I don't. Narcissus and Goldman. Herman Hesse. What? He thought that all men trickled away, changing constantly until they finally dissolved while the artist created images remained unchangeably the same. He thought that the fear of death was perhaps the root of all art, perhaps also of all things of the mind. We fear death, we shudder at life's instability, we grieve to see the flowers wilt again and again, and the leaves fall, and in our hearts we know that we too are transitory and will search for laws and formulate thoughts. It is in order to salvage something from the great dance of death, to make something that lasts longer than we do. Perhaps the woman after whom the master shapes his beautiful Madonna is already wilted or dead, and soon he too will be dead. Others will live in his house and eat at his table, but his work will still be standing hundreds of years from now and longer. It will go on shimmering in the quiet cloister church, unchangingly beautiful, forever smiling with the same sad flowering mouth. I'm going to pretend to know what all those big words meant. All I know is that I saw a lot of words on a page in a row and, and that usually conveys information, but this time I just didn't know what it was talking about. I can store my items here if this wasn't a demo. Ha! Ah, I like that acknowledgement. So... Where else to go in this little demo? I guess I'm just gonna have to find that out for myself. I unlocked it. Funny, I don't remember grabbing a key for anything. This looks like a much bigger room than any other room that I've been in so far. Uh, you mind not shambling so slowly away from me so I can actually get a good look at you? Not that I want to look at you, because you're, well, probably freakly ugly, but, you know, tweet their own. Scribbled note. If it's scribbled, how can you read it? The message seems hastily scribbled. If this is real, if this place is what they say it is, I don't even know how I feel. Will it answer the questions that I and everyone who has ever lost someone have spent so long asking? And what if it does? Will that change anything? If I don't come back and someone finds this, I tried my best. You, as well as I, may not come back. Well, you probably already haven't come back, but... I still have a chance. Nothing interesting in the wardrobe. Judgy much? Jesus. What do we have here? What's this red glowy thing? First aid. Don't need it. As far as I'm concerned, I'm alive. I won't use that till I'm almost dead. Did they leave in a rush? Well, there is packed up boxes everywhere, so I would say it's probably not a rush. I mean, they had time to pack. Whoever was here. This is a new room. I think. Honestly, I don't remember where I've been five minutes ago.
What's in here? Anything? Is there anything worth my time? Locked door. Not worth my time. Pile of clothes. Definitely not worth my time. Big couch. Well, I spend a lot of my days on one of those, so I feel like that actually is worth my time. Because I'm kind of bad that way. What is that noise? Sounds very suctiony. Actually, it was this clock. Ooh, I have a puzzle. I don't know if I'm going to be very good at this. I've never had the greatest luck with puzzles or anything that requires any amount of uh, brain usage. I just can't seem to get this right. Maybe it goes... Maybe? Mm. Holy shit! I mean, golly! I actually did something for once. Didn't know I could e open secret passages in this house. That wasn't in the brochure! And where am I now? Hello, key. Will you take the attic key? Well, yes, I will. Now, I'm thinking that's for that room upstairs that had all that weird writing around it. But I have been wrong before. I'd be wrong if I said I wasn't ever going to die in this game. I know I will, eventually. It'll happen. What do we got? Some more old rooms, probably. Very, very black looking books. Do a little spinny bob to oh. This is kind of psychedelic, don't you think? I mean, I've seen some crazy stuff in my time, but this beats all. Yeah, this is very much harkening back to like the the weird parts of Silent Hill. And I'm a huge fan of that game, so I'm really, like, gushing over this stuff. The knob is totally broken and won't turn. The door looks weak, but there's nothing behind it. Yeah, that might be an issue. So, now that I'm in what is basically the, I'm guessing, the underworld... It could be. What do I do? What do I do with this uh, newfound information? Are things going to be changing up on me down here? Because I don't like it when things change up on me. But why would it lead me all the way down here just to do nothing? Fuck you. Oh. Oh, seriously, dude? Am I supposed to not die? I'm supposed to not die, right? Maybe I was supposed to die. Maybe that was my destiny all along. Yeah. Okay, watching an old school CRT TV. I can get down to this. I like some white noise. I don't like it enough to stare at it. Your eyes are very pixely. Scary. Very scary. Hmm. 
You know, I could really get lost in that guy's eyes, probably. They're glowing. What is this? Booby watching me like a creep. You're not gonna get anything out of me. I hope you know you're not gonna get any interesting footage from me. Okay, now I'm starting to get a lot uncomfortable. I don't like these noises. They're not human noises. Um. Okay. I am immensely confused. Okay, so running, 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 running. Uh, something tells me that I need to find it in myself. Keep running. Stay away from whatever's back there. It's not worth it. Um, are those, like, dead souls trying to possess me or something? What's with all the flashing lights in all these houses? You know, people's phone bills are... are People's light bills are going to really go up. Don't take me. Don't do whatever you're doing. Yeah, you can't have this vessel. Sorry. You're not allowed. Nobody's allowed in this vessel but me. I'm trapped. I am trapped. I am trapped. This is bad. Uh... How can a non-physical being hit me? Oh. Well, there's all my good luck in one place. That's as good as my luck gets. Here, now let's try this again and not die. I gotta see what I can do here. I don't know where to go. But I'm gonna figure it out, hopefully. Don't slow me down. I didn't tell you you could do that. I need to... Are those things still coming after me? What does that say? More tenny... Something. I can't read it. God, I can't stand these freaking tank controls. Do I go inside one of these houses? What happens when I get in here? Uh, does... Is this a good spot? Uh... Probably a good time to use that first aid. Now I'm all healed. I feel better. I think. Honestly, I don't know how this girl feels right now, considering the fact that she was just being chased by spirits in the street. I will definitely save. That is very much needed at this point. I'll take that save point in stride. Um... Now, uh, I don't want to go back out there. Is that all this was? Was a save point? Huh. Well, I guess I have no other choice, really. What's in the next house over? If it's even unlocked. Thank God it is. Okay, I'm weirded out now. I was weirded out before, but I'm even more weirded out now because this place has floating houses. Uh, that's not something you see on your normal Tuesday. Um, 
Am I gonna actually be able to walk through this door? Tell me I will. Something's gotta be on the other side of this, right? It looks to be nothing, but that this game has been confusing so far. Everything here looks just like I left it earlier today. Was that even today? Um, it seems like this has all happened in the span of a day, probably. I don't know. I don't tell time for you. The king is the most valuable chess piece in a game of chess. It can move left, right, up, down, or diagonally. It can only move one square at a time. The object of the game is to checkmate, capture the king. If a player's king is attacked by an opponent's piece, it is called check. If the king cannot escape, it is a checkmate. And that side loses the game. The bishop moves diagonally. You can move as far as a player wants it to. Unless another piece blocks its path. A bishop can never leave the color of square that it starts on. I don't know why I needed to know that. I wish I could pretend this wasn't happening and just watch a movie right now. As I do with most things in my day-to-day -day life, also. I've maybe finished a quarter of the books I bought. I used to read all the time, but I can't even do that anymore. Whatever. I've never read... I've never been big on reading. 